Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, we continue checking our options in the settings. What are the settings in the Settings app? Going through each option. Like I said, we will revisit some of them much more in detail after we went all through the settings. So this works for the May, November, and the uh, version 2004, the next version of Windows 10. There could be small differences, so don't worry if one option is missing. You'll eventually see it when you upgrade to another version of Windows 10. But for the most part, most of these settings exist everywhere. Settings that have to do with the taskbar at the bottom of your screen or wherever, wherever it's placed. For some of you, it could be placed somewhere else. If you go into your Settings app, either by going through the Quick Actions and All Settings, or the start menu and clicking the settings gear, you will actually go into personalization and then taskbar. Quite a few options in the taskbar and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about what they do. First of all, lock the taskbar. This I always keep turned on. Why? Because over time, I've noticed that when it's unlocked, it's easy to accidentally move the taskbar somewhere else. So by locking it, if you click and move the mouse pointer, it won't budge, it won't do anything. If it's unlocked, if you accidentally click and move the mouse, you could see here that I can actually move the taskbar wherever on the screen. It's often a confusing problem for a lot of people. They don't understand why someday they get on the computer and the taskbar is on the side or on the top. And so it's simply because it's unlocked. And when you actually hold the left button on your mouse and uh, move the mouse pointer over it, it actually can move the taskbar. Automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode. So if you are in desktop mode, what you could do is turn this on, which means it disappears when you aren't using it. And if you go with your mouse pointer down, you see that it reappears. That's an option I keep off most of the time because I am annoyed at the fact that it disappears. And there's a lot of indications in the taskbar. Certain apps will give you some details of things that it's doing. So I, I like to see my taskbar usually. But if you want to have a little more space of, you know, uh, screen view, well, you can have this, of course, turned on so it hides automatically. Automatically hide the taskbar in tablet mode. That is, if you use tablet mode or if you're on a tablet PC, well, you'll have the same thing happen, but on tablet. On tablet, it's usually on by default so that it actually isn't always there. So you can, of course, turn it off, which means you won't hide it. Use small taskbar buttons. So here, if you turn this off, you'll notice that the taskbar gets bigger. Everything is bigger. This is a question I get asked all the time. How, is, how can you get all of this bigger? Well, here's one button that actually will make everything bigger suddenly. But that also means there's a lot less visible stuff on your taskbar. So be wary of that. I'll turn back on to have it smaller suddenly again. You speak to preview the desktop when you move your mouse to the show desktop button at the end. That's completely at the right side of your screen. When you go here and you put your mouse pointer, it actually shows you the desktop. So you can have a peek of something. If there's a document that's open, for example, you'll have a peek at it. If there's something going on or an icon that you wonder if it's there or, you know, just want to see something, you can have a peek at your desktop quite easily like this. Now, this can be turned off or on by this little switch. Replace command prompt with the Windows PowerShell in the menu when I um, right click the start button. So if you go to the start button and you right click, you have two choices of command prompt but you can also, if you are a PowerShell user, turn this on. And now if I right click, it's Windows PowerShell rather than the uh, command prompt. So depending on what you do, you could have shortcuts of either the command prompt or the PowerShell. Uh, show badges on taskbar buttons depends on what you're using 
it's not here it's grayed out because I'm not using uh, what is actually needed to have that happen but it is a possibility taskbar location on the screen if you want you can use this to choose where you want it not everybody wants it at the bottom by the way combine taskbar buttons together when taskbar is full what does that mean that means that if I continue opening stuff here when there's no more space it's gonna actually have the same app combine all of the open buttons or windows if you want uh, and you have the choice to do this full or always or never um, of course there's options that how do I customize taskbars you can actually click here it will actually bring you to a page to explain all of that stuff there's some explanations on the web that uh, actually Microsoft will give you information about so this is something you can check it out multiple displays show taskbar on all displays you can turn this on or off if you have more than one screen on your PC uh, show taskbar buttons on all taskbars and combine buttons on all or not taskbars depending on your multiple screen usage and finally there's a little something called people you can show contacts on or off and that shows the little people icon here I keep this off because it's pretty much a very annoying feature I, I consider and this is apparently going away anyways so eventually it might disappear so you know my people notification it's something that was introduced a year year and a half ago maybe and never really came popular they actually have it off by default it gives you an idea that people don't want this and um, like I said it's eventually gonna go away if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching